What is up, guys? It is your boy, Mr. Squatch, and we are back with some more Ark Survival Evolved Mobile. So today, guys, is something a little different. I've noticed a lot of people, even to this day, after the videos I've made about God Console, Admin Console, they still have questions about how you get it, how it works, um, and a lot of people get it mixed up with the God Console and Admin Console. They get all of the things mixed up. Well, I went ahead and deleted my save so basically i'm starting completely fresh starting all brand new so i can show you exactly how everything works so i'm 100 percent fresh spawn i am level one right now i don't have anything besides one stone that i picked up but as you can see you go to your uh your you know your menu and there is something right there that says not a cynic creature there it is wait wait, wait. hang on chat i'm looking for where it is primal pass accessories colors creatures six skin uh, I guess it's not on mine because I already have it purchased, but in this menu, you will see something for God Console. Like, you know, right there, Ascendant Creatures, as you can see it there on my screen, I already own that, so it already says already owned. Um, archetypes, those are all the archetypes, which I think I need to restore because I own some archetypes. There we go, Crowbar, Frog Feet. Um, I think, yeah, Chad, I think it's already showing it, or it's not going to show it because I technically already own it, and I already own Primal Pass, so I don't know why that's, why that's showing that I don't. But anyway, as you can see, I scroll all the way to the left, God Console, and it says cheats not available during pursuits. That's because there's about, what do you say, like 10 pursuits or so that you have to do before it unlocks for you once you purchase God Console. I've heard a lot of people tell me that they have it won't work for them, and that's because you have to finish those few pursuits. Right now, it says collect one wood. So we're going to go punch a tree, and uh, we collected one wood. Now it says collect the thatch. So we need to keep punching, get some thatch. Basically, it's just teaching you how to play the game, and unfortunately, you know, if you're starting off brand new on solo, you have to do all these. Um, if you've already done all of these prior, you shouldn't have to do them. You should be fine. But let me go ahead and uh, punch this tree, get some more thatch. There we go. Now it says craft a stone pick. So we're going to go ahead and craft a stone pick. And you get the drift, guys. Basically, go ahead and finish all the pursuits it lets you, which I will go ahead and do it on video just so y'all can see it because last time I don't think I showed it fully. Now it says equip your stone pick, which I just did. We have equipped it now. And next, so now that pursuit is complete. Um, let me see if it lets me do it now. Okay, there we go. All you have to do is basically those few pursuits. Now I have God Console, which you can turn Invulnerable on, Bright Knight, Fly, Instant Craft, Instant Ammo, Infinite Stats, learn all the Ingrams, and I can even level myself up. So I can sit here and spam level up, level myself up all the way. Um, that should have given me, yeah, yeah, 94 levels. So let's go ahead and spam it the rest of the way. There we go. Now I should be leveled up fully. Now I can go ahead and put all of my levels in. You know, if I want to do movement speed, fortitude, crafting speed, whatever. Which I like to just do movement speed on uh, on here. Because, you know, we have infinite stats. You know, so we don't have to really worry about anything else. And I like running fast. You know, to me, that let's see, is that fast enough? That, that's pretty fast. That's 30 levels into speed. I might leave that there. Um, anyway, this is God Console, guys. Like I said, you go into your menu right here. You purchase it through one of these menus and then you do those few deals and then you can have god console and i will go show you the difference between this and admin console so we go ahead you know we can you know we can click uh uh oh we have another pursuit to do chat switch to fist okay so i wasn't finished it just opened up for a few seconds okay so we do have to finish the rest of these ah okay chat don't be uh don't be discouraged we will we will finish these last few quests Go ahead and get some more berries. I didn't think that was all of it. I was kind of, I was like, man, that, that doesn't seem like that's all the quests. I remember being like a five, 10 minute process before. Okay, now it says eat a few berries. I mean, literally just teaching you how to play the game, chat. You know, drink some water. So let's go back over to the Oshani. Come here, ocean water. I'm gonna drink you salty, sweet, salty water. Okay, now we drink some water. Awesome. Now are we done? Pursue complete. Basics. Pursue started. A warm fire. Oh, okay. Now we got to make a fire. So it says, collect campfire materials. Do we already have campfire materials? That is the question. Let's see. Uh, structures. Cooking. We need some flint and some stones. Let's go ahead and get us some flint. Bam. 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 Oh, I'm just going to metal. I want some flint and stone. There we go. Now we got some flint. 
Um, we also need to go ahead and craft a hatchet because that will get a stone obviously quicker. Um, so we need weapons, primitive, melee. And we need some thatch for that. Let's go ahead and get some thatch. But yeah, I figured I would go ahead and show everything for you guys. That way, uh, you know, it's a lot. At least I'm not skipping any steps. This might be a little bit a little bit slow for some people because some people, you know, already know how to do this. And, uh, you know, they don't want to watch everything again. But I, I, I figure there's other people that will enjoy seeing the whole process, you know. All right. Plus, I mean, whenever I'm watching um, instructional videos how to do something, I definitely enjoy when they show every single step, even when it is a little boring. Okay, crafting, um, structures, cooking. Aha. And then I think we have to put, kill an animal and put meat on it as well. So now it says build your campfire, which we did. Oh, no, no, but that means place it. So we're going to go ahead and place our campfire right here. Now it wants us to fuel the fire, so we need to put some wood on it. I got one wood. Light your campfire. Now what does it want us to do? Um, open your navigation kit. Your map has been area. Search for dodos. We gotta find a dodo chat. Let's go ahead and kill the fire. Um, we can get some more wood too while we're at it. But yeah, now we need to go kill a dodo. I think that's what it wants us to do. Yep, still gotta go. So we need to open our map. And a dodo is right over here somewhere. It says find dodo. And like I said, you gotta do everything it wants you to do, chat. Everything. If you don't, and you try and skip something. Oh no, the dodo was back this way. And you try and skip something, and then it won't it, it won't work, basically. You got you gotta finish these few steps. And like I said, if you've already done all these, not a big deal. You shouldn't have to do them again. Where's the dodo chat? Um Dodo should be right here somewhere. Hello? There it is. Oh, wait. Well, there's a moss chops. Oh, I hear a Dodo. There he is. Okay, located Dodo in wild is an area where Dodo is marked with a green. It says kill the Dodo. So, yeah, now we have to kill the Dodo chat. Sorry. Sorry to massacre the Dodo. Now we need to harvest the Dodo, I believe. Yep. And it's going to want us to go back to the fire and put the meat on the fire. Again, like I said, it's basically teaching you all the basics of the game. So let's go ahead and throw that on there. We'll throw that on there. We'll light the fire. And yeah, cook the meat. And I think after we eat the meat, I believe that is it. I am at camp. Yeah, I'm cooking the meat. Okay, we're cooking it. Come on. Sorry, chat. I know this might be a little boring. But again, like I said, I'd rather teach everyone exactly how to do it. You know, and exactly what the differences are between admin console, god console, and then, uh, okay, perfect. I think that's it, guys. Yep, now we can go ahead and turn everything back on again. Infinite stats, crafting. Technically, we don't, with infinite stats, um, like I said, the only thing you really, really need is speed. I mean, if you don't plan to use god console all the time, yeah, go ahead, you know, throw some in the, in the weight, you know, or uh, health, stamina, you know, melee. Um, I obviously probably won't throw everything in the movement speed, but I like my guy to move fast. Anyway, that is how you do God Console, how you get it. You pay for it. I forgot to mention that. It is $14.99 US dollars um, here, in the, here in the United States. But anyway, let me go ahead and go on over to my unofficial server, and I will show you Admin Console. So we'll be right back. All right, what is up, guys? We are on my private server, my uh, my patron server. So this is a unofficial server, meaning that it's a server that you yourself can rent from Nitrado. And basically, when you rent a server, it comes with admin features. So myself, this is my server. I have admin features, and it's a lot like God Console. But in this one, is as you see, I don't have the lock thing on my screen right now. That is because I just logged in. So what I need to do is you need to go to settings, admin manager, and then you set a password in your Nitrado app. And then you set the password, you'll come on here, you'll type the password in, you'll hit accept, you'll log in, and here is the admin menu. So it shows me everyone who's online, which no one's online currently. 
Um, I have features like teleport, kick, ban, mute, unmute. So I can mute players in the in the chat. I can unmute them. I can ban them. I can temp ban them. I think it's like three to seven days. You can pick the ban. Like if I wanted to ban somebody, uh, say I'm gonna ban uh, Bo. I click ban and it link forever, link one day, link three days, link seven days, and I can put a reason why I wanted to ban him. But as you can see, I'm not. I'm obviously not gonna ban him. But anyway, now I have the lock on my screen. And on this one, you're missing some features. You're missing infinite, sta infinite stats, instant crafting, um, those two things. But this one, and I think you're missing something else I can't remember. Oh, uh, speed. You can speed up the time on single player. Obviously, you can't do that on a server. But I have invulnerable, bright night, infinite ammo. I have fly as well. Heal all, level up self, kill target. Unclaim is something you only have on um, a server. So if I want to go over here to my anklo, let me turn fly off. Um, basically, I know this is mine, but you go to it, if someone is having issues in a tribe and I needed to unclaim their dino for somebody else, I would click unclaim on it, now he is unclaimed, now, you know, I can obviously claim him back again, um, we'll put him on neutral. But yeah, that is, that is a couple differences between God Console and Admin Console. An Admin Console, this one, you do not have to pay for. It, you just pay for the server you're on. So, so, I mean, I mean, either way, you end up paying to get features like this, basically. But Admin comes with the server, so you don't have to worry about paying for it. But that is the two differences between God Console and Admin Console, guys. So hopefully this has helped clear a lot of things up. And now people will quit asking, you know, hey, I have God Console, can I use it on the server? Or how do you get Admin Console? How do you get God Console? But yeah, that, I would say that's about it. If y'all have any questions, any concerns, any comments, please leave them down below. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, and always turn on bell notification so you get notified anytime I go live or post a video. Have a great one, guys. Take it one day at a time. Peace out. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me.